In ALIAS 2024.1, we have added several new features to improve your efficiency. And we added more SUBD and NURBS modeling tools that help you in the complete design phase. Additionally, we further improved the user interface and added several new helpful changes there. For example, you can now freely adjust the display scale of the ALIAS user interface using the new system scaling multiplier and scale it to your needs independent of the operating system settings. The Object Lister always provided options to switch between the layer-based or object-based view. But now we have implemented two new buttons in the Object Lister, so you have quick access to these modes. When working with shaders, you would typically search for the assigned shader of the selected object by turning on a filter. And now you don't need to turn the filter on for this anymore. Just scroll down and you will notice a shader with blue corners which indicates the assigned shader. This gives you a much better and faster overview, massively speeding up your workflow as you can instantly see the assigned shaders without searching for them. Another very handy new option when you're modeling is the toggle for camera-based selection. So you don't need to open the option window for the camera-based selection anymore. I also highly recommend setting a hotkey for this within the hotkey editor, where I put in the hotkey C to toggle it on and off. This makes a much smoother concept modeling workflow now. We have also added some new SubD modeling tools. For example, we now have a SubD Revolve tool, which works just like the NURBS tool, but for SubDs. We have also added a sweep tool, so you can create a sweep along two rails. Another new option has been implemented in the bridge tool. You can now select a profile curve to better define the bridge shape. When working with SubDs, if you find your CV structure getting uneven, we have now implemented a tool which can help relax or smooth the CV layout for a quicker and cleaner result. And also in SubD modeling, when working on a huge object, it can be very distracting to see all the CVs. But now you can hide a selection of CVs, so you can better concentrate on the area you're working on. And it's also quite simple to toggle back and forth. For NURBS modeling, we improved the round tool. Now you can select all similar radiuses with ALT plus left mouse button. And then you can change them all in one go by typing the new value into the prompt line. Additionally, we added more functionality to the feature modifier. Now you can adjust and rotate the feature using the new rotate buttons. And you can flip the orientation if needed. And if you want to have one single feature distributed over multiple surfaces, just uncheck multiple outputs. This gives you so much more freedom when placing a feature and makes the workflow much quicker. We have also added and improved some Dynamo scripts. Here are two scripts you can use to control the scale of a pattern using an image. In this example I'm controlling a loudspeaker pattern with this image. Let me show you how this works. You can create a black and white image which reflects the surfaces using the Create Picture script. Be aware that the image will be projected in the C direction of the active construction plane. Then you can edit this image, like I'm doing here. After that I can use this image to distribute patterns like the circles with different scale values to the selected surfaces using the Place and Scale by Picture script. This is such a nice creative and intuitive way to create a pattern and gives you so much freedom. We are also introducing a script where you can create for example a customized neural surface on a revolved surface. Just use the create surface on a revolved surface script to distribute multiple surfaces to it. After you are done, you just need to use the feature modifier to place the objects around it. This can be very handy when you want to create a radio button for example. We also have a head script now which creates a head in one click. This can be very helpful if you want to work on a helmet for example. And if you need a complete human body, you can now create a mannequin with one single click. The Dynamo player lets you then change transform values to position the new mannequin. See also the descriptions of the Dynamo scripts within the documentation. Last but not least, we now support the following import and export file versions. Granite version 16 for import and export, NX version 2306 and Creo parametric version 10.0 for import. 
For more information about import and export formats and more features, please check out the alias documentation. Thanks for watching the video. 